The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. A Trader's Edge, now Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the March 4th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Steve e. Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, well, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. We know I make that one little two by four ship. Well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 16 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. And if you can't dial in, hey, we've got you covered there too. Let those fingers do the walking. Go ahead and send me an email. Send it to steve at tfn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tiger's Den. Well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Less Show. Right now, we got uh, all the indices. Well, I take that back. We got a slightly mixed bag out here. You got the uh, transports that are up 23 points. The other indices are trading to the downside. The Dow's off 155, SP 25, NASDAQ 109, Russell's off 26, semis down 49. Gold's up 29 bucks as well. Now that we had, uh, I said, uh, what did I say? Boy, I said 49. Well, maybe it'll be up 49 bucks by the end of the day. I'm just kidding. The semis were down 49. Gold is up 29. Silver up 55 cents. Lights we crude up 455. Natural gas up 21 cents. The 30-year treasury up two full points. Trading out at 158.24. Leading the charge dollar-wise, the upside. You got Broadcom up 26 bucks. Uh, Fair Isaac Corp up 20. Uh, Northrop Grumman up 21, Aberdeen Standard, Palladium up 19, Palladium's having a big day. Regenerin is up 12 bucks. The downside, it's Asimo Holdings off 37 bucks, 6 percent. Shopify, 35 bucks, 6 percent. SVB Financial, 34 bucks, 6 percent. Amazon, 33 bucks, only 1 percent there. And HubSpot is off 28 buckaroonies. So let's just talk about what's going on right now so that you can, we'll just go give you the quick play by play here. And what I mean by that is we're just simply going to go take a look at those short term time frame charts. So earlier this morning, about a couple hours ago, 11.30, is when we got the uh, first bottom signal. That bottom signal came in on the uh, Dow Equity Future contract, YM, the NQ, and the Russell 2000. We didn't get a bullish reversal candle on the ES Mini, but then right after that, you get a bullish structured profile for the 30-minute time frame. And right now, the ES Mini has taken on that resistance level. So the level to be watching here for a further clue is 43.2650. If we get a close above that at 130, that's going to suggest we move back to the most recent high. That most recent high will get us back in the 4361 level. In the case of the NQ, the top of the profile that it's gunning for is 13,954.75. If price can close above that, then that says we get back to the highs overnight at 330. And that would take us into the 14060 level. In the case of the Dow, the Dow is already above the top of its daily profile, not daily profile, above its 30-minute profile, and that says it's going for 33,673. 33,673 is its TD9 count breakdown level. If price gets above that, well, then it just has a smidgen move higher into the 33,746 level. But if price gets above that, 33,746, write that down on your pad of paper, then that's going to say price get all the way back up to 34,000. That's not what we're saying. We're saying you got to take the step Stuff one step at a time. Understand where support and resistance is at. That's why we're taking a look at these 30-minute uh, charts out here. If you look at the Russell 2000, again, a nice roads mint to indicator bottom. Uh, price is trading with inside its bullish structured profile. Suggest that price should go target 2018 out here. That's the top of its profile. If price can get above that, then the next target would be the high from 3.30 this morning. Again, that's up at the, and for it, it's up at the 2028 
50 level out there. So that's what's going on on the uh, short term time frames, which is really the play by play analysis, which is what you wanted to understand. So the point here is that markets are moving lower. You don't know whether they're going to continue to move lower or not. What is an easy way to assist you with understanding that or when a bounce is going to take place? And I would say it's learning these tools out here, tools that I teach. You just subscribe, you subscribe for 29 days, it costs you Zippo because you're going to have access to those workshops out there and you're going to put this to work and uh, assist yourself in making those decisions out here. So it's the same thing of what, what you and I look at each day when somebody calls in or sends in an email asking for a request. We basically go through the same process each day, just that the levels of where the buyers and sellers are at are different and whether the instrument is bullish or bearish and so forth. So right now, we've got just a counter trend rally. Uh, we would uh, change that opinion if we these key levels of resistance fail. Jimmy D says short covering, taking profits. Hard to imagine any real organic buying other than passive uh, fund auto buying. Well, we don't know about that, do we, Jimmy? I mean, we're right now what we do know here. So let's just let me just let me just throw out the other side of that thought process. If we take a look at the this screen, not the screen that we're on right now, but let's just take a look at this screen, the main screen, the main vein out here. What do we see? Well, we see a, a lot of red. We see a little bit of green. But the green that we see, you have the U.S. dollar index. Uh, where is that out of my chart? Up 749, 74 cents out of it. That's a big move. Now, I've got a 10-minute delay there. But what we see is that in the, the so-called flight to quality is in the U.S. dollar. Take a look at the 30-year Treasury. It's up two points. That is the same thing as buying the U.S. dollar out here. So you've got this rush to U.S.-centric things. How long that's going to last, I don't know. Certainly gold is moving higher out there, so it is, doesn't really care about the U.S. dollar, which is a, really a point I've tried to make uh, you know, a gazillion times out here. Uh, so, yeah, you could see uh, European desks maybe taking some positions. But here's what we know. This is the, the Rhodesman indicator signal is when you push the ball down too far or push it up too high, it's not sustainable and you're going to see some type of move. So I don't know if it's short covering rally or not, but you know, on an intraday trade, if you're using these tools here, you would at least be able to understand what the market is doing and why and where is it likely headed to from there. So I don't know if that answered the question. I know that I can't answer the question uh, for you, but it is something to uh, think about and something to consider. Consider. So speaking of questions out here, we've got a minute before we get to the uh, breakout here, but let's go to our first question, which uh, is coming in from David H. And David wants to take a look at Southern Copper, SCCO. But let's do let's spend the next minute here and take a look at copper, which is uh, breaking out uh, big time out here. So let's get to the uh, copper charts. Uh, give me a moment. We'll pull it up. We'll just take a look at this set of charts. So what copper has been trading in for quite some period of time. We go back to 2005, basically, and what we'll see here is a very large consolidation. That's on the quarterly chart. And what copper is doing right now, it's trading up towards the top of that consolidation pattern. Uh, it probably should be that the top of this should be moved up just a tad higher. And if we do get that breakout, which we may, and it looks like we may, but if we do get that breakout, then that's going to give us a measured move. Now, on the shorter term time frame, the, the monthly chart that I've got out here, that would get us into about the 560-ish uh, type level out here. But here's the deal. There's nothing bearish, David, but look, on a long-term basis, on that quarterly profile, our quarterly chart out there in the bottom, we've got this large consolidation. When we get back to this break, we're going to go take a look at Southern Copper which is having another spectacular week. See Road to TF and N. Be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at copper and, and southern copper. We'll get to here. This is for David and Tom Ball, Texas. And as we begin by taking a look at our eight-panel charts out here on the monthly basis, uh, you're above the uh, top of its uh, profile. Well, we're gonna yeah, you're above the top of its profile, so that's bullish. Um, on the uh, weekly basis, there's no topping signal. Now it has triggered a road momentum indicator uh, signal. But you need a bearish reversal candle to confirm that. As we look at the daily time frame chart, you're only in bar number four. Certainly, there's an A to B equals CD to the upside. If there were to become a bearish reversal candle, that would then suggest, okay, it's time to pause. But we don't have that signal right now. You do have a short-term pause signal. That's on the 30-minute chart. Both a TD9 count top and a road momentum indicator signal. So we want to watch the oscillator and change line. The oscillator and change line for the 30-minute chart is currently priced at 491. If price gets below that, then we likely get a move back to maybe the 488-ish level, uh, maybe even 484. Uh, but first, price has got to get below that oscillator and change line. And then we got the 60-minute chart. 60-minute chart looks like it's going to confirm a TD9 count top, maybe a road momentum indicator top. Its level of support is at 490. The 120 minute time frame chart, if we were to get a bearish reversal candle, would confirm a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. But this is not going to complete until 2 o'clock, I believe. Yeah, my two hour chart is not going to complete till 2. Nothing to be concerned with on the 240. And you are in bar number nine on the five hour chart. So we are getting some shorter term or intraday type topping signals out here that just suggest some type of small retracement, perhaps, or something along those lines. Otherwise, everything here looks uh, very good. Now let's go switch over and take a look at the Southern Copper chart so we can answer uh, the other question or questions that uh, David has. And basically, his question is where's resistance here? And resistance is pretty simple. It's at 79.16. That is the top of the monthly profile out there. So um, do I need to look at anything else? Well, once, yeah, let me give me uh, do this here. Uh, we'll go to the eight panel charts. 
assuming I can find them for Southern Copper. So give me a moment. We're just going to switch back there. But here, your resistance level is 79.16. We'll go back to the eight panel version of Southern Copper out there. And what do we have? The weekly, no signal at all. The daily, I do have wave number seven potentially, and a rose momentum indicator signal that's triggered. Really, this looks good unless we're to get a bearish reversal candle out here. Uh, you do have a TD9 count top that was negated on the 195-minute chart. That suggests strong momentum move to the upside. The 60-minute could form a TD9 count uh, by about uh, between 130 and 230 out there. That's the only thing really that I see. Yes, some short-term topping signals on a 15-minute basis, but we'll just kind of consider that noise at the moment. But Southern Copper, Southern Copper, longer term, looks pretty good. So, David, thanks so much for writing in, and uh, have a uh, fantastic weekend. Speaking of fantastic weekends, let's go out to Martinez, California, and see how Brent is doing. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm doing great, Steve. How are you? Good. So I think our guys wrote the symbol in incorrectly, or I didn't, uh, but this says GGD. What is it that you uh, would B, like to look uh, at? A B at the end instead of a D. A uh, GGB. GGB is the uh, ticker symbol, which is, uh, you, you tell me what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I say Gerdau. I'm not sure okay. if that's right. That's just what I was called. All right. That, that's what we're going to go with. That's what we're going to go with. And uh, tell me what you're doing and how I can best help you here. What's the information that you need? Well, I've been in and out of this a couple of times. I most recently bought in at that February low. I'm in at 458. And I guess my question was, it looks like we were just a little tiny bit light on the, that uh, swing point high on the daily. But it looks like on the weekly, it is going to surpass it with enough volume. Not that that's, you know, make or break, but that's, you know, encouraging. And I just wanted to know, you know, any other levels to the upside that I need to be watching. So you're absolutely right. Uh, now, you don't see the volume on this chart here that you're looking at, folks, but you can see the swing point that uh, Brent is referring to was one from February 11th. And in it right now has 65 million shares, and that swing point had volume of about 53, uh, 51 million shares out there. So yeah, you're taking that swing point out. That's a beautiful thing. That's like an A to B equals CD to the upside on a um, your above profile levels. The next profile area of resistance for you is about 602, 603. That is the center of its bearish structured area. Now, it's a fairly wide bearish structured area, meaning the resistance zone is between about 603 to $6.96 out there. As we look at the daily time frame chart out here, I don't see any kind of a topping signal. You're going to form bar number four of a TD9 count, so nothing there. The next level of daily resistance is really up at 703. So we just need to see if this forms any kind of topping signal, but there's nothing in place today, and I wouldn't imagine we would see anything for another four trading days out there at a minimum. The 195-minute chart says you could be getting ready for a timeout. It is forming the bar after bar number nine of a TD9 count. Uh, but as I take a look at the other intraday time frame charts, not really getting any kind of confirmation that that's going to turn into a top. It could, most certainly, but we'd like to see some other confirmations on, let's say, the 30-minute chart, the 65-minute chart out here, even the 15-minute chart. But that, that's that's so ultra time frame. I don't want to focus on the 15. So, Brent, everything here looks really good. I'll just – any questions about these white panel charts? that we're looking at no i think that's it steve i this really has some catching up to do with you know valley and some other ones that are in the same era their charts are completely different this has been in my mind kind of a laggard and honestly it's a better company fundamentally i mean valley's got issues with that you know dam that broke and killed a bunch of people on that site and that's why i mean i had some trades in that but i was really concerned about the liability with that this doesn't have any of that i just yeah i think this has the potential to, to kind of play some catch up. We'll see. Well, we're just what uh, four days into the trading session for the month, and the swing point that is gunning for is May of 2021, which has 469 million shares, and you're already at 56 million shares. So, I, you know, the quick math on that says uh, this looks pretty good. Yeah, I think it has potential. Really appreciate it, Steve. Just uh, you know, have yourself a great day and enjoy your weekend. And you bet. Uh, well, I imagine we'll talk to each other soon. That sounds great. As always, thanks for calling. That's Brent in Martinez, California. And folks, I'd love to hear from you as well. So you can always give us a call at 877-927-6648. Let's go to our next question coming from Tim M. And Tim says, could you please take a look at Microsoft? So the answer there is absolutely MSFT. I'm getting that uh, running up on our A panel screen. It'll take just a few minutes for that to pull up. But meanwhile, we'll take a look at Microsoft on the black panel screens. And the question I'm looking to put on a neutral 
bearish position using options. I'd appreciate your thoughts about the outlook, no pun intended, for the next 45 days. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, let me give you the uh, what it's doing here. 45 days, that's like a uh, – I, I, I am looking for that crystal ball. And I ordered it a few times, and it, uh, it's uh, basically, you know, defective. But here's what we can tell you about Microsoft. Number one, it's trading back into its swing point. This is the swing point from February the uh, 24th out here. Volume there, 56 million shares. You're at 17 million for the day. So it's pulling back on light volume. What likely this is to do is to at least pull back and test support. That's as long as it closes below, even though it's on light volume, as long as it closes below the high of February 24th, which is 295.16, Tim, even though it's on light volume, it would really suggest to you and I would get back and test support. So the first level of support would be 283.26. That's the bottom of the daily profile. The price closes below that, then it's likely to go back and test those lows from February 24th, and that's at the 271.52 level out here. You can see the nice descending trend line that's in it. Price is going to have to take out descending, that descending trend line to then suggest that you can get a move to 310 out there. So you're trading in a range right now. Support, 283.26. Resistance, well, at least 297.94, but a little bit higher because of that descending trend line. Steve Rhodes with TFN, and we'll be right back. We'll finish looking at Microsoft for Tim Ham. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. So now we've switched over to our eight panel chart for Microsoft for uh, Tim to be able to take a look at it here. And, you know, the, one of the first things that you should notice, and that's what makes really, uh, you know, this chart, some other charts out here, somewhat complicated to interpret is if you look at the weekly chart, this is now going to complete a TD nine count bottom. Now, what we know is that the low of that pattern here, Tim, can occurs on bar eight, which in this case would be the case, bar nine, or it could be the bar following nine. So we really won't know until the end of next week if uh, if the low from last week was that pattern's bottom or is it a low from next week out there. Price is trading below the bottom of its weekly profile. That's a 296.53. So that suggests that we could see price move lower out here. If you look at the daily time frame chart, you can see a nice TD9 count bottom that it formed out there, Rhodesman to Indicator bottom. And your real level of resistance, well, first is going to be the high from uh, yesterday. Which was up into that, uh, which was up right up into that descending trend line. The descending trend line is not shown on my white background chart, but that level of resistance is important for you, and that's up at the 303.12.13 level, 303.13. If price were to get above that, just simply for your planning, you would expect or anticipate that it would make a move to the 309.12 level. That's a TD9 count breakdown area. 195 minute chart has a TD9 count bottom. 130 minute chart, the same thing. The 65 minute chart, forget about the bottom that formed back here a couple of days ago. You have now have a valid TD9 count with a oscillator and change line that has changed colors. So the 65 minute chart says price and that line have a date with each other. Now, I don't know if it's price moving sideways, line moving lower, but there is a date. And that's where you will get a piece of information, Tim. If you get a test and rejection, it says price should head lower, retest the uh, uh, bar number eight of this pattern, or get back to its breakout level of 280.71. The 30-minute time frame chart, uh, probably there's an A to B equals CD to the downside. Price ran into resistance, 292.47. You want to keep an eye on that level. If price is above that, suggest to move higher. And uh, so that's really all that I've got. So you've got value. Here's the issue with regard to Microsoft. You're saying neutral to bearish. Uh, the uh, it, 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 That's really the way to look at it because, you know, you've got really a bunch of valid bottoming signals out here and price pulling back with uh, light volume. So, Tim, I hope that helps you out with regard to the information. I know you wanted to know what's this going to do for the next 45 days. That is beyond my pay grade. I wish it was. I keep uh, trying to practice to get up to that level, but uh, I don't have that type of uh, vision as to what the markets are doing. Uh, let's go to our next question. This one coming in from LB. Uh, LB, Lee, thanks for writing in. Good afternoon. Uh, can you take a look at uranium uh, and give me your buy in a point? URA is a ticker symbol that we're going to go take a look at. URA, so let's go see what it is doing. Uh, let me fire that up. Sorry, on this white background charts as well. Uranium right now is trading out at 2296. So you're you're asking for a buy point. I'm going to switch from these charts here. Go over to the black background charts. I'll keep my eye, one of my eyes, my third eye on those uh, white background charts. If anything uh, is significant that shows up, we'll, we'll go take a look at it. So we take a look at uranium. Let me get rid of a couple other patterns that were out here. There was that measured move. It broke that consolidation. It made that measured move to the downside. Now what you have is really price, Lee, is trading in between trend line support and trend line resistance. Yesterday was basically hitting trend line resistance. Maybe this is going to pull back to trend line support. Trend line support or the bottom of its bullish structured profile, you ask for an entry area, it would be between 2045 and 2103 on a, a pullback, and specifically on a pullback with less than 2.7 million shares. That is a trading day from February the 24th out there. Uh, so far today on the retracement down, you 4 million shares, so it's pulling back on pretty good volume. And it has not tested that swing point. So it looks like it's really gunning for that swing point of February 24th. But your buy point on here from a daily standpoint would be that rising trend line, the bullish structured area. And I really don't think there's anything else. I mean, I'd like to stay here and talk about ticker symbol URA. But there's nothing real. Oh, well, I take that back. I take that. So here it is. So what's uranium doing today? Uh, let me just change panels instead of pull that chart over. It's a daily time frame, uh, Tim. Uh, so that third eye, see third eye blind. Uh, is uh, very good out here because it's a daily time frame. I'll expand out the chart. What my eye saw was that price was testing its oscillator and change line after recently changing colors. So depending on how aggressive you want to be with this, again, it's pulling back with volume out here, but price right now, this is a bullish test. 
And it's not like we have a topping signal. We do have that resistance of the TD9 count breakdown level, 24.52. We haven't gotten two consecutive closes above that. So you know where your defense is at, whether price can get through it or not. Right now, the range of this trade is at oscillator and change line and about the 24.52 area. So depending on how aggressive you are, uh, this is a uh, bullish outcome. Now, let's take a look at the intraday charts here. So I said we weren't going to, but now that we have that, we just need to look and see if there's anything of significance here. And there's not. The only thing of significance would be on the 15-minute chart. And this says that price needs to close above 23.31. That's the gap from this morning to the downside to suggest that this thing wants to move higher, fill the gap, and so on and so forth. So back to the ideal setup is between 20.45 and 21.03. Yeah, but the daily chart right now is saying yeah, this could be a, a buy point. So, Lee, I, I hope that that helps you out. It is the best that Stevie can uh, do for you. Doug writes in and Doug says, hey, Steve, I have a long position in GD, General Dynamics. So let me get that uh, flowing up here. Let's read the question. Let me actually get that on the black background charts as well, GD. And uh, and would like to know where I should move my stop. Oh, uh, do you see GD moving higher or dropping back into the lower range? Well, uh, General Dynamics is... Uh, it's in full breakout mode out here when I take a look at the charts. So, uh, Doug, what, what I mean by that is uh, a couple months ago, you negated a TD9 count top. You're in bar number four. You're above the green oscillator and change line. You're above the profiles. This is bullish. The weekly chart, there's nothing bearish about that. You're in bar number four. You're above the weekly profiles. You're above the green oscillator and change line. Boom. Uh, yesterday was a close above the TD9 count top on the daily time frame. That says strong momentum move to the upside. That TD9 count lasted for one day. <laughs> That's a strong momentum move out here. So uh, general dynamics is moving higher. You asked where do I put the stop? Here's what I can say. Is the average true range over the last 10 trading sessions is $5.59. I would multiply 5.59 times 1.618 and I would place a stop underneath uh, I would take the close of the day unless that uh, amount whatever that is 559 times 1.618 that probably comes out to uh, $10.50 I don't even know if that's close but that was just a guess so let's just say it's 10 bucks and you know and if the close were 243 I'd make it at 233 as a stop so that's just a general way to take a look at it but boy look at the charts out here general dynamics looks uh, very strong so congrats to you uh, Doug out there and I would uh, stay with that uh, trade uh, the next question coming in from sat p and Sat P wants to take a look at uh, LUV. I believe that is uh, the airline. Is it not that Southwest Airline? And can you please take a look at Love and Fast? Now that's the 300% uh, uh, move of the XLF. So we'd look at the XLF. It suggests if it has a short-term bottom and enter long for a swing trade. So when we take a look at Love out here, Love generated a TD9 count bottom on its weekly basis. This is nice. Right back here, the week of December 24th. And now price is pulling back and testing its bullish structured profile. So we'll go take a look at the volume on Love just to see you know, what it's doing on a weekly basis. But a potential entry point is at 4007, which it has hit uh, this week. Maybe it hit it today. Yeah, I think it was today. Potential. You have a TD9 count that's going to form today in Love for the daily time frame. The lower low could come on Monday. That'd be at 39.64. Uh, uh, you've got some intraday time frames that are showing some merit to a bottom. Well, let's look at this a little bit further when we get back to this break. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back. Uh, so we're taking a look at Southwest Airlines. Uh, it's got a, a nice uh, TD nine count uh, pattern that's going to complete today uh, for the daily time frame. And uh, that means it's going to be bar number nine. And we know that low can come on the bar following bar number nine. So as we look at the weekly chart, I'd mentioned that it was pulling back into support, which it is, the, the bullish structured profile. But it's trading back into that swing point from December the 20th that had volume of 40 million. You're in it already with 45 million. And so it likely is going to close you know, below the high of that swing point, which is 41.97. So I'm going to suggest, even though you've got bar number nine on the daily, because prices still stop below the swing point low from December 20th, that had volume of 12 million. You're pulling back today with 4.7, so that's a good thing. Wait till Monday. See so if you get that lower push lower, test that swing point, reject that swing point out there. And then if it's me and I'm making an investment in Southwest Airlines, I'm going through the SEC filings to see if you can find anything about what they may or may not be doing. Are they, have they uh, hedged uh, gas, uh, petroleum out there for their, uh, for their airlines? Remember, years ago, they had some really great uh, futures traders, and they were making money mostly because of their ability to have hedged uh, their fuel costs. And I don't know if that's the case this time or not out there. And if not, then fuel costs are going to get higher. And if price gets below the bottom of that weekly profile, not necessarily today. Well, if it does today, that's not a good thing. Uh, you're already below the bottom of the monthly profile, bullish structured. This could have further to go. Now, when I say th further to go, if it closed below 39.64, I'm referring to like 30.30 would be the next area to look at. So uh, just to pay attention to it, I would wait until uh, Monday before I did anything. But I've given you the information that I, uh, that I have available to you, and uh, that's about it. You also want to take a look at the XLF. You want to take a look at FAS, but you've got to make that decision off of the XLF. So this is interesting. The XLF has been hovering around its uh, January 24th swing point. Uh, this is its uh, fourth time down. That low had 169 million shares. The next low had 143. The next low had 129. And now today we're at 51. So what the XLF is really trying to do is really hammer out a bottom out here. But, um, you know, what, what you don't know here, Sat, is uh, what kind of exposure still might be out there to some of these uh, Russian markets and any liquidity issues that are going on, you know, banking, uh, this could be a uh, interesting time. But the XLF is held up pretty well. Do you have an actual signal 
to uh, take a uh, long position in. And I guess that's really the question out here. You know, you're below the weekly trend line. That would suggest a better buy might be at the bottom at 3573. Uh, I can share with you that there was a TD9 count on this bar right here. This bar is from the trading day of February 24th. That low is held. Again, you're trading into it light volume out there. Um, I just think you got to be patient. But look, I want to give you the answer to your question. You're saying, is there a short, is there a bottom in place or a short-term bottom? It has the bottoming pattern. But if you close below the low from the 24th, then that all bets are off and price is likely to head lower. And you're looking at 35.73 inside of the XLF. That would lead to lower price. Well, FA. FAS, I think that's a long one, right? And FAZ might be the short one. I think you're looking at FAS, yeah, because you're looking at the bottom. So uh, I hope that that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. Inside the Tiger's Den, we have a request to take a look at Rio Tinto. RIO is the uh, ticker symbol. So let's pop that up on the screen here. And let me see what was the question. Can we look at it? You're long from 77, and you're looking to add to it. So RIO is the ticker symbol, taking a little bit of time to load on those white background charts. Rio Tinto right now is trading at 84 bucks even steel. Even what I can share with you uh, before all these charts here get uh, completed, it's up above the top of the daily, up above the weekly, up above the monthly profiles. So that looks pretty good. You're in at 77. You're looking to add to a position. So what we want to see here is, is there some, well, then, then Rio Tinto's add to that position might be today. So here's, here's the fly in the financial ointment. Why might it be today? Well, it might be today. Because you have a roads momentum indicator top, because you have this gap down, prices moving higher to less relative energy, but prices gapped right down into support, the green oscillator and change line. So as long as this level holds, this level is 81.22, that could be a buy point, not much of a pullback out there. If that level fails, then Rio Tinto would be signaling to you and I that price might pull back into the 75.48, 74.06 level. You've got a TD9 count top of the 195, price below the oscillator and change line, the bottom of its profile. That says as long as price remains below that, then we could uh, – not showing the right chart, sorry. Thank you, Mr. Bill. Uh, see, that third eye came in handy out there. Uh, thank you very much. you got to love our wingmen and women out here. And now we've got those white background charts. So now you can see price pulling back, gapping down. That, that falling window, that gap to the downside confirms Rhodes momentum indicator top. But price also finding support at the oscillator change. So really the signal right now, Mr. Bill, the signal out here uh, is uh, is neutral. But you get below the oscillator and change line, it changes from uh, it doesn't it's no longer neutral. It says expect or anticipate a further retracement. And that's really the message of the 195 minute chart that says prepare for 7710. Now that gets back to your entry area. So you certainly want to keep an eye on this oscillator and change line on the daily time frame. What do I have elsewhere? You know, the other intraday charts that show tops don't show any kind of bottoms at this. Uh, so I'm going to go with a you, you pull back in the daily time frame, but the under the covers, it's saying there may be some trouble out there. So what I would be doing because you're in at 77.10 is the average true range is two dollars and 40 cents. So I would be making sure I've got my stop in place. 240. I like to multiply times a uh, uh, a Fibonacci expansion number on more volatile time periods. The larger Fibonacci number is what I would use. 1.618. You could use it uh, from today's close. You could use it from yesterday's close just to get a feel from from where you're at out there. But uh, if Rio Tinto closes below 81.22, you should expect and anticipate some additional move lower. So I hope that helps you out. That was from the uh, Tiger's Den. The next question coming in from uh, Rich in Oregon. Rich says, uh, what's your charting indicating for Devon Energy, DVN? So let's fire that back up here on these white charts. The question goes on, the energy company seems to have stalled here versus other oil and gas companies. Okay, dokie. Uh, DVN, let me get this out here on my black background charts while it's updating on the white. It stalled a little, but it's still bullish, Rich. Uh, although not shown right now, just yet, it's above the top of the daily, weekly, and monthly profile. So that's bullish out there. Nothing wrong. We take a look at the uh, bar number eight for the month, this month. It says you, you know, could have a top this month, but you, you need next month to really confirm that. Uh, you are in a weekly TD9 count out here. So if price closes above that high next week, strong momentum move to the upside for it on a weekly basis. No topping signal on a daily, been moving sideways, just testing the green oscillator and change line. As long as it remains above 57.96, that's very bullish. Close below that, says price moves back to 55.64. That wouldn't be the end of the world out here. I don't see anything else that's going to assist us. So, um, 
But the charting system says uh, this is still bullish. And there ain't no, that ain't no bull. It's just simply what the charts are communicating to you and I. So, Richard Oregon, thanks so much for writing and listening. As always, let's go to our next question. This one coming in from J.K. J.K. says, PPB, PP, what is this? PB, PB, peanut butter and jelly. PB, PB, peanut butter and jelly. So, what are our thoughts about peanut butter and jelly? I can honestly answer with you to that question to you, not much. It is not Stevie's favorite out there. But the question is, is peanut butter and jelly in an A to B equals CD up pattern? So we get back from this break, we'll go try to answer that question. Steve Rhodes with TFN, back in a few. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. All right, folks, three questions, two minutes to go. PB, PB, Potbelly Corporation. The question is, is that an ABCD pattern that takes up to 12 bucks? The answer is no. There's no A to B equals CD pattern really that's in play out here. The retracement from the B to C leg on the daily time frame was 
that's that's no A to B equal C D pattern. What I can share with you, Jay, is that price is trading right up in the resistance of its bullish stru bearish structured weekly profile, 614. You don't have to close above it this week. If you did close above it this week, that would be a nice thing. It suggests that you had the higher price. Higher price would mean $7.22 out there. The daily, you can see it's got a nice TD9 count. Bottom, you're in bar number five, so price should continue higher. You took out yesterday and today, it's TD9 breakdown level, 588. So it's really this weekly profile. If you can close above that, then you should get a price target of 722. So that's what the, that ticker symbol is telling us. The next question coming in from Mimi. Mimi wants to take a look at the energy sector, which certainly has been on fire. And her specific question is, does the XLE show any kind of a topping signal out here? So we're going to wait for that to uh, populate. Please populate quickly for Mimi because uh, we're going to be headed to uh, a uh, – the show is going to be over. Uh, so uh, – Come on. Oh, there we go. So now you've got, I'm sorry, I'm doing really two things at one time. The answer to your question, Mimi, the answer is uh, it has one potential topping pattern, and that is coming from the weekly time frame, which is a TD9 count top. This is the bar following bar number nine. We begin trading. We close above next week. Uh, this week's high, whatever that is, it'll negate that pattern until you still tell you about a strong momentum move to the upside. What's not being supported by that weekly TD9 count top uh, is the mere fact that uh, we don't see any kind of intraday signals to suggest a top in place as we speak or certainly on the daily time frame. So hope that helps you out. The last one was Union Pacific. We just have a few seconds to get to that. Let's go to the black background charts for it. Union Pacific, the question is, can you give up the specs about going long UNP? Look, you would be chasing it. Price is above the top of its daily, weekly, and monthly profiles out there. So, uh, you know, if you're looking to get into Union Pacific, buy it on a pullback. Folks, stay tuned. You've got two more great hours left. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Tom O'Brien will take us on home. Have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you on Monday, 1 o'clock. Take care.